We are here at the Rotary Club of Brampton Rib and Roll, and we're here to find the secret to the perfect ribs. So I bet you guys are wondering why we're wearing the, these amazing aprons. aprons. Yeah, um, it's sort of like our pass to go around to make sure that people know that we are supporting and helping out with the ribbon roll. Yeah, so uh, we're checking out all the vendors here today behind us. Uh, these are uh, like expert rivers, and uh, it's going to be some great stuff. So, we're here with uh, Jonathan from Solirmos, and uh, he's got this great booth at uh, Rim and Roll. And so, uh, why don't you tell us about uh, the kind of stuff you're making here? Well, what we have going here in our smokers, a bunch of ribs. We have a whole pork going on today. Uh, hopefully, today's going to be a great day. A lot of ribs, a lot of pulled pork, come down and enjoy. Right now we're here with uh, Chris from Jake's Boathouse, uh, and uh, we're gonna learn how to make some ribs. So, uh, how about you guys try to do some? Absolutely. Absolutely. Set her on. And then we let it simmer on one side. So it's nice and well done, like you can see here. Amazing. Then we baste it, and we flip it over. The reason why it's ribs down, is because the heat will simmer on the inside of the capsule. If you flip the other way, so, uh, what's your secret to making the uh, good ribs? Low and slow. Just low and slow. It takes us about six hours to do our ribs, and then we go another 15 on the ground. Um, so, what's your secret? Secret is the sauce and time. You cannot cook the ribs fast. It must be done correctly. Which one's your favorite? Ribs or the pork? Both our secrets, our secrets from the restaurant, all of our food is amazing. All the recipes we use, everything comes together nice and it brings what we bring. Come on this side. Yeah, that's the secret. Yeah, that's the secret. Yeah, that's the so now the smoke's heading that way, so we don't want to torture ourselves. You can still see how the frost is coming out now, which is good. That's what you want. Now the heat's coming because it's simmering, it's the away. Fast over here, flip it over, that's it, done. You get the sauce, spear it on. And you let it sit while it's cooking the other side. So I got a question for you. Do you like pineapple on pizza? Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Alright. It's the only way to do it. <laughs> we love pineapple on pizza. So how long have you been cooking? Oh, I've been doing this now for about five years with different companies. Uh, party Center, Rich's uh, Party Shop, and now Jake Bowman's. And I've been doing this quite a bit here, so everyone here pretty much knows me. I'm an old guy. So we're here with uh, Michael Sharp, and uh, he's the MC for this event here. And. Uh, do you want to tell us a bit about what you're doing here? Absolutely, Mackenzie and Olivia. We have a gorgeous day set up for all the kids today. Today is sponsored by the Ward Family Funeral Homes. And we have jugglers, face painters, clowns, stilt walkers, the Disney Frozen Princess Show, as well as one, two, three rock and roll bands for everybody to come up and dance to. We're going to have the Cheer Fusion All Stars, so the young cheerleaders are all going to come out and dance in front of the stage. And we're going to pull all the kids up to the front. So Sunday is the day that we take and we dedicate it all to the kids. Because that's what it's about. The youth is our future. The Rotarians believe in it. The city of Brampton believes in it. And we're really thrilled to be having this Sunday. So what's your favorite food? Ribs. <laughs> a nice cappuccino. i got to have a nice cap for that. So we're here with uh, John. And uh, we're going to ask you Certainly, yeah. So, so tell us how the whole ribbon roll started. So the ribbon roll started 17-18 years ago and it was a gentleman by the name of Rob Van Kessel. Rob was one of our members uh, that just had a passion for children and cancer. And when he started the first event here, uh, it was a rollerblade event. A rollerblade a event. event, yeah. And, and that first year, I think we raised a couple of thousand dollars and the focus was really the awareness for children's cancer. Um, it, it evolved to a bigger event, to what we have today. And sadly enough, uh, four years ago, Rob passed away of brain cancer. So this passion for cancer, his passion for children, 
was something he did his entire career. He was a local lawyer here with Lawrence and Lawrence, one of the largest uh, law firms in Brampton, one of the oldest law firms uh, in Brampton. And he was one of their senior litigators. So aside from being an incredible uh, lawyer and litigator, he just had a passion for helping and giving back to community and being part of our Rotary Club of Brampton. And when he started with this event, was just uh, evolving. So it's, it's one of our, it's our premier events for the club. And uh, each year, each day, we think of a lot. So how many reps do you make in a day? Well, it depends on the crowd. We go by the crowd. We can cook every case, but we want it fresh. So right now, we've got this set because we know the crowd's going to come. We're pre doing it. But trust me, once this lineup starts, you cannot keep up with three barbecues. Wow. So it's literally cook, bake, serve. It's literally a race. How much money do you raise you? Annually, so the event itself, uh, we started off at, I think it was $1,800, 17 plus years ago. Now it's anywhere from uh, 75 to 100,000. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Incredible. And all that money goes back to our local charities, to the hospital, Aaron Oak Kids, um, Tour for Kids, which is Children for Cancer. Um, so yeah, so it's, you know, it's an exciting opportunity for us each year uh, to be part of this event uh, and being Rotarians. It's just uh, that exemplifies, I think, a lot of what Rotary does in communities. Thank you so much. No problem. Uh, yours? No problem. Beautiful. There you go. So these ribs are from Jake's Boathouse, and these look delicious. Uh, give them a try now. These are excellent. So we're just leaving the Rotary Ribbon Bowl. After a great day and some fantastic ribs, we are going to call it a day and uh, catch you later. <laughs>